Greetings everyone, it's Friday again. Well, it's not Friday here right now, but sometime soon in the near future it's going to be a Friday and you're going to be watching this video, which is going to be about Robocop 2, published by Ocean Software in 1990. And I've never actually played this one, I only played the first game and of course the third one, but that was on the Amiga, so that's a different story I suppose. I don't know why I never got around to playing this one, because I quite enjoyed the first one, although it was far from perfect. And I've heard good things about the second one, so I have high hopes for this. And this game is often referred to as being an arcade conversion, which I don't think is really true. There is an arcade version of Robocop 2, developed and published by Data East, I believe, but it really doesn't have too much to do with the home conversions. The uh, the arcade game is more of a brawler with shoot 'em up elements, and the home game is more like a platformer with shooty bits, just a bit like the, the first game, really. And I've never actually played the arcade game either. I did play it a bit before I started recording this. And it's an okay game, maybe not strictly speaking. My cup of tea, nor is it very original. It uh, seems to be kind of your average brawler game from the uh, early 90s. But never mind that, let's uh, dive into the SD version instead, shall we? That's a pretty nice loading screen, this, I must say. And this game is, of course, based on the movie uh, with the same name that everyone seemed to hate for some reason. I quite enjoyed it, mostly thanks to the really gorgeous uh, stop motion animations and special effects in the in the I was going to say in the game but no in the in the movie it was really rather entertaining there were some fun bits in it as well not as good as the first one though but hey and we got some music by Keith Tinman which is uh, sounding pretty nice I have to admit don't think I've heard this one before I think it's a variation on the uh, Robocop theme right let's uh, let's enjoy yeah, not bad at all I'm quite liking this and I'm actually using a real joystick with my emulate emulator this time got it working now so uh, let's see we've got to destroy the drugs laboratory arrest people shoot stuff and destroy everything fine I get it don't worry I know what to do. Oh shit. I thought I had a little bit of a moment's peace here. Oh, this is confusing. <laughs> what the frick? How do I fire upwards? Move, <laughs> you lazy git. Uh, could you... Oh, I can't move past the box for some reason. I did read the the manual for this one. It wasn't very uh, long-winded. It was really rather short. And how do I... Am I supposed to jump past this? No, I can't. What the hell am I supposed to do here? <laughs> it's, we're off to a great start, don't you agree? I need to hold diagonals. Ah, yes, of course, I'm being silly. I can't just hold up because then I jump. I'm learning, don't worry. And for some reason that... Did I just... Oh, God damn, everyone's after my blood here. Oh, I need to punch, of course. I'm being extremely silly. Um, yeah. And I have to walk up. I can't shoot the box because, oh God, no, that would make sense. And no, no, give me the baby food. Give me the baby food or the jam or whatever the hell that could move, please. Wow, this feels so weird to control with a real joystick. But here's a lift. So let's let's use it and let's get out. Oh God, this is um, reasonably tough. Oh God, we got a grenade launch launcher, dude. Damn, it's pretty, pretty tough, yeah? Let's kill this guy. No, I don't want to use the lift. I want to punch some crates because that makes me happy. Oh, I think I shot a scientist. That's probably not a good idea. Get up. Oh, <laughs> it's so weird playing this on the real joystick, I must admit. And I do find the controls a little bit like they are actually fighting me or I'm fighting them. Okay, that's good. I'm. Let's just give me a couple of sec. Oh God, leave me, leave me alone! I just want to check out the controls. So if I stand there, I can jump. If I press up and fire, 
And if I pre press diagonals, I can fire up. That's that's good, all right. And I can sit down and punch stuff and something like that. Oh, there's so many people here. Just quickly jump past all my problems. And, oh, there's a, um, a wall there. I don't think I can punch it. Nope, can't. I need to take the lift down, I presume. Get out of here. Uh, uh, I think it was still Peter Weller who played Robocop in uh, Robocop 2, right? I think he, he bailed on the third movie, though, which I don't think I've seen. Oh, God, this everyone is... It's a bit like the first game, this. Just a lot more tricky, I have to say. Everyone is much faster. But I do have a... Oh, I was going to say I do have more life. But yeah, then I jumped into the vat of acid or something. <laughs> Maybe some sort of leftover from the first film, right? Yeah, I've got a heat meter for my gun as well. If I fire too much, it overheats. That is not a good thing, but... This, I presume, is health, maybe? I don't really know. And apparently I have arrested no one, which is fine by me. I'd rather just shoot people. Ah, uh, stop it. Yeah, we can't jump down there because that's bad. So maybe we should try and um, jump out onto this rocket-propelled platform. That's amazing. The technology of the future. Ah, I'm overheating the gun. Come on, come on, move, 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 move. It's still overheating. Move! <laughs> Can I punch these people? I don't know. Doesn't seem like... I thought I read something about... Being able to punch people. But that doesn't seem to be working that well. And hello there, Mr. Sai... What the... <laughs> yeah, I did read about this game being rather tricky. And uh, I'm not going to argue with people saying this is hard, because yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm not sure why I went up here, to be perfectly honest. Maybe because I feel feel the need to explore and grab more baby food, right? Right. There's also a timer up there, or a, or a clock of some sort. Yeah, there is a timer, of course, isn't there? Yeah, this time as well. That's great. <laughs> uh, yeah, I gotta say, it's, uh, this game is looking fairly nice. The controls are maybe a little bit clunky. I keep forgetting about how I get up when I sit down. But they're responsive, I would have to say. Not bad, and then I forget that I need to press fire. And uh, up to jump. Oh, let's try this again. I haven't given up yet. And now I've got some sort of power up here. That's amazing. I've got some more time. Or, well, it's counting down rather quickly. I'm not sure how that is working. Maybe it's the time is... Oh, yeah, it's the timer for my power up, I presume. Oh, hello, Mr. Scientist. I'm going to save you this time and not shoot you right between the eyes. No, the timer does not seem to be connected to my power-ups. I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, damn, the scientist was behind this rather tiny and hard-to-see wall. Oh, more baby food. Let's get it. I want it. Yeah, the game does look really rather nice and sounds okay. Although that... Oh, I just killed my... Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, that's hard not to kill that guy. Jump. Why are you not... Mm. But yeah, the game does suffer a little bit from the same problem of the first one, that you just get pelted from all directions. And it's really rather hard avoiding bullets and stuff. It's a rather annoying problem in the first one, and it's kind of present here as well. 
But, I mean, I would probably have liked to... And what the... I forgot about that thing. Oh, great. I just completely forgot about whatever that was. It looks like a lift, but it's not. It's a crushy thing. Note to self, do not murder the scientist, all right? Please. Oh, you. You sc... No! Come on, jump. Oh, I kind of jumped a little bit too far there, but never mind. I'm just going to go up here instead. Can I control this? No, I can't. Okay, the crushy thing is bad, so let's just jump past it. And let's fall down here because... Ugh, okay, move, move, move. Can I jump up there? No, I can't. Am I going to die? Yes. Oh, God. And then I start from the beginning. Oh, great. <laughs> I can see this becoming a little bit frustrating, to be honest. A little bit repetitive. <laughs> but, I mean, not a bad game. No, I uh, quite... quite like what I see here, but... and I probably would have played this a fair amount back in the day. No, please, fire up. No, no! Oh, God, when I press diagonals, it doesn't quite register. It registers as up instead of diagonally up, and... Oh, God, and then I jump when I don't want to. Maybe I should have used the keyboard instead for this. And that sound effect I get every time I hit something. It's, it's starting to get a little bit old. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Please stop making that sound. Ah, that worked. No, stop it. You... Ah, oh, you scum baskets. Oh, god damn it. Ah, finding the controls a little bit hard. They're really fighting me. And I'm fighting them and I'm not winning. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting slightly, slightly better at this. But yeah, this this is pretty frustrating, I must admit. I don't like the the platforming aspects of this one. The the jumping is is really really not great. <laughs> Jump! And maybe let's fall down there. How the hell am I supposed Oh, yeah, that's great. That's super fair, because I really know what's beneath that part there. Thanks. <laughs> At least some of the enemies seem to not respawn. That's actually great. I think I can fall down here because I did that. And... Oh, that worked. That's good. Let's not, however, jump up there, because that killed me, I think, uh, a while back. Jump, jump, and fall down. Shoot the guy in the face, please. Give me the baby food or the jam or whatever the hell that is. Oh, God. Yeah, I can see this getting reasonably frustrating, you know. This, this, yeah, I probably wouldn't have played this for very long back in the day. <laughs> Although I am getting a little bit better at it. Oh, there's a wall there. Oh, God. No, please. Ah, oh, stop. Leave me alone, please. Just leave me alone. And it's so annoying with the arrows. You don't know... Do they mean you can jump down anywhere? Or do I have to jump down exactly where the arrow is at? It's not entirely clear, is it? Poo. And I really, really hate that I have to restart every time I die. I just... Ah, oh, this it's so frustrating. <laughs> Oh, boy. Give him the jam, please. Give it here. And I'll say you stop waving your arms about, you silly man. He's going to punch this crate first. Oh, shoot through the wall, eh? Cheese basket. I think I can maybe do this, can I? No, I can't. I was going to try and save that poor scientist, but no cigar. Well, I don't care. You can wave your arms about as much as you'd like. Um... I think I'm going to go go down there, this part here, right? Can I... Yeah, survive, that's good. Come on, oh, I shot the guy. Oh, God, this is... Maybe I'm going to try and jump. Now, oh, where did I go last time? I think it was over here. Yes, that is good. And then the game kind of cheesed the crap out of me. I need to jump here. I actually remember that. That's great, isn't it, right? Ah, oh, you bunch of scum baskets. Stop it. Oh, there was nothing over here. Only annoyance and frustration. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
No. Ah, uh, and now he doesn't want to jump. Let's just stay, stand still here and press up and fire and jump down and land. And do it again. Yes. Now where to? I don't know. Let's try this way. How the fuck am I supposed to know that? That is so damn cheap. <laughs> oh, shit. No, don't do that. Don't do that. I don't want to die. Not again. Please. Please. And why the fuck do I fall through the platform? Why? This is garbage. <laughs> I'm shooting straight through you. Why don't you just die? Okay. See if we can get this done this time. Crikey. Um, and this part I think I need. Yeah. And then we go down here. And then we jump. Jump down here. And now, of course, it gets a bit tricky, I think. I am actually shooting you in the crotch, but you don't seem to care too much about that, do you? Now, I don't even remember where I... Ah, uh, okay, that worked. But now I've got no idea. This is honestly garbage. I hate that. That's not fair at all. You just glimpse it and then you die. And I just keep forgetting where I'm supposed to jump. Nope. Nope. Not liking this one. It is just too frustrating. And that jumping part. It's so, so cheap. And then they send you back to the beginning. And you have to do all the frustrating, boring bits again. And nope. Nope. Not my cup of tea. Looks nice. Sounds nice. Uh, but gameplay wise. Nope. <laughs> Let's have a look at a couple of reviews of the game before we uh, quit the video, shall we? SD Actions Neil Jackson was uh, decently impressed with the game and he gave it an overall of 84% and he writes Robocop 2 is tough, tougher than is perhaps necessary, but not unbeatable. Too high a level of difficulty on the first stage makes it frustrating, but not unattractive. The desire to continue and win through surpasses the desire to switch off and do something easier. Well, maybe not for me. <laughs> And that's the mark of a good game. Buy it and you will be swearing, throwing the joystick around, missing your tea and staying up into the night. But you'll love every minute of it. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure I agree. I mean, I don't understand why they made the first stage so stupidly cheap and difficult. Why not just make it easy so you get into the game and then maybe the second stage is going to be a bit easier. But of course I don't know that. As the action was even more impressed and gave the uh, the game an overall rating of 88% and they also gave it an SD Action A1 rating and they write Special effects have managed to create a game that's not too difficult to get into but keeps you coming back for one more go. The sprites are nicely animated and the backdrops are colourful and well detailed. A nice updated version of the original title music plays at the start of the game and some well applied sound effects add that little touch of atmosphere. My only small gripe is the collision detection. And yeah, there seemed to be a slight iffiness with the hit detection. You could shoot people in the crotch and nothing happened. Also, sometimes the platforms, you would just fall through them, which I absolutely hate. <laughs> but yeah, maybe back in the day I would have given this another chance because it does look nice and sound nice. And there's a certain entertainment to the gameplay, although it's just way too hard. And there's supposed to be different stages in the game where you do other things that I've just kind of seen pictures of that kind of look nice. So maybe I would have persevered back in the day. But these days, nah. I'm going to carry on with something different. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, hope to catch you in the next video. Cheers.